Welcome to At The Vanguard. We're TB Vanguard and our motto is for fans, by fans. We showcase fans on the front line of the Team Breezy movement. This podcast is an open forum to discuss current topics as they relate to Chris Brown and his fan base. Hey, welcome to At The Vanguard. Today is August 29th, 2022. We'll go ahead and get started. I'm Nikki. I'm Paula. I'm Dee. I'm Jessica. And I'm Tasha. Excellent. Well, yay! Yay! Welcome back. Yay. I want to say happy birthday, Mike Posthumous. Happy birthday to Michael Jackson. Or heavily happy birthday to Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. It is yes. August 29th. Happy a, birthday. Yes. Birthday. <laughs> There's somebody on Team Breezy, um, Virtuous Joy. I never forget her birthday because her birthday is. August 29th. Oh, oh yeah, that's she, right. I just remember Joy. Birthday, too. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yep, she's. I think she's yeah. in Ghana now, but for the for her birthday. Anyway, um, yeah. yeah. So this this has been uh, a great week. We had our last final show was this weekend in Vegas. D, you went to the final show. Yes, I did. Okay, I so. <laughs> Yes. So, what was, you got to tell us how like, what that experience was like. I mean, when you go to Vegas, it's it's not. I have to be honest and say it's a different type of energy. Everybody drunk before they even get inside the oh, arena. Yeah. It's you know, and it's it's pretty much grown people. You know, adults, twenty one and over. So that was a different experience. But um, everybody was crying, including me, when. He brought out Jordan Sparks to do No Air. It was it took everybody back to 10, 15, 18 years old, you know, because you everybody was pretty much in high school or junior high when they heard the song. So it was very emotional. But uh wow. yeah. It That's was fun. it was beautiful. Yes. Was that the finale or was there another finale? Typically he has the like the, the dancers come out. I didn't see that last night, or I didn't see any video of it. No, he had the dancers come out. It's just that that pretty much was a showstopper right there, uh, because yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like at the show in Irvine, you, we had the selections. You know that little time yeah. period you could pick and choose. That pretty much mm-hmm. because of the way they sang it. Although I, I don't, I didn't know that it seemed that long, but it pretty much ended the rest of the song selections. And so oh. it's just it just because it took up the whole part of that time that they have for the performances. Oh, okay. <laughs> so um yeah, so that kind of but everybody wanted it anyway, you know. Oh yeah. So um but yeah, everybody was back to their 15-year-old self, 12-year-old self, junior high broken heart self, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> And, Broken heart uh, with no with no relationship, right? <laughs> it's like or, or, in the or, head. <laughs> or a fantasy relationship, you know. Right. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it was I thought it was pretty magical because like I said, everybody went back to that moment in time, relived where they were at that moment in time and you know, it had an innocence to it too. So it was it was beautiful. Mm. Everybody was crying. Yeah. Yeah. And that was only that like their wonderful. second time ever doing it, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah, correct. Wow. The first time was on American Idol, and that was 19, I mean, uh, 2006, 2007. Wow. When, that's when uh, when Jordan won American Idol. Wow. She won it's almost like a full circle type of moment thing. Exactly. Yeah. Like you're yeah. back. Like you're right back. Wow. And everybody that's on the whole tour. <laughs> Whole time. I mean, it took a long time for them to get them to do another song. I think your show was the one that finally broke the uh, the record. Hey, shout out to London. The children, man, ain't me. What'd you say? I said, shout out Columbus. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he was so happy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that was beautiful, but well, we have some other things, of course, happened since then. Um, well, not just since then, but just happened this past week. One thing, of course, is that uh, we've got physical copies that are being pre-sold Yay! on Amazon. Yay! Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Amazon and Target. Target is the big one, yeah. Yeah, Amazon and yeah. Target. 
But that I have to say that kind of just shows you two things. Prayer works because we prayed for yes. Jordan Sparks and Chris yes. singing <laughs> live, no air. We pray for physical copies. So we get physical <laughs> copies. So mm-hmm. the next prayer will be give us a package with the vinyl disc and the and the oh, bundle, and, the bundle. Right? Pray for those meet and greets too, huh? Yeah, exactly. And the meet and greets, yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> Well, prayer you know, does work. Still the European tour. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see what they're going to do with the European tour. There. So they may be doing something a little different by then. But, um, but yeah, so we're we're excited that we'll put some ads up to help advertise that the uh, the uh, yeah. physical copies drop on September second. So, September second. Yes. Yeah. If I'm not 2nd. mistaken, they might actually. I think they're actually going to be in Target too. Oh, well, that's that's good yeah. because they haven't been yeah, doing that. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah, they haven't you have been to doing have that. like a special it's deal with them or something to have that happen. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. That's wonderful. Well, then, if it's going to be Target other- and uh, Amazon, we should probably check and see if it's going to be at Walmart too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Walmart that's will be definitely- edited though, right? Yeah, oh no, that was an in store thing. Maybe not online. Maybe it wouldn't be. Maybe yeah. they give them options online. Yeah. 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 But um I'm so excited about that. We, <laughs> no, we should have a we should have like a, a thing with the other fan sites where everybody posts a picture with the physical copy in their hand. Oh yeah, yeah that's baby. a great idea. Yeah. Honestly, it's contest time for real this time. Definitely. Yeah, there is. And and we've got a yeah. couple of things to uh give us prizes. So yeah. Mm-hmm. That that would be exciting. Um now the other thing of course was the release of uh Call Me Every Day video. Woo! Gorgeous, yes. <laughs> the CD distracted me, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I just watched it a little while ago. <laughs> I <know. laughs> All right, Nikki, what'd you think about it? What'd you think of that video? I liked it. Um, I liked the set. <laughs> no, no, I'm not done. She gets into it. Okay. She's she getting into it. You know. All right. Listen here, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I liked the fact that I felt like I hadn't seen... The video seemed like it was on location, whether it was or not. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like, it seemed like, um, and we don't always get videos on you know, location anymore. So it seems like it was filmed somewhere outside of the U.S., <laughs> which I like. And I like the fact that it just had a different feel to it. It felt grown. Um, mm-hmm. It just seemed the the saxophone and you know just, just yeah having whiz in it and it just had a more grown feel to it for me. But at the same yeah. time, it wasn't overly sexual either. Right. So I appre- I appreciated that, and I liked the um, there's so many things about it I did like. I liked the it looked like a maze, you know, where they were all oh yeah. Uh, all walking, I like that. I like the um, the the it, the imaging when it was dark and then when it was light, and then some of it gave me Aladdin vibes. <laughs> 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 like, uh, but at the same time, you know, it just I just I liked it. I hadn't seen a video like that from him in a while. House parties or something pretty specific, but that. I said it just seemed like they were like on location, really there. It just seemed like there was some ethnic elements to it. And... Well, now, Jessica, what did you think? I love the video, of course. Um, mm-hmm. It went by so fast because the video is so good. Yeah, <laughs> it's a I short song. It too many times, but he looks so good, especially towards <laughs> the beginning. The way he's looking at the camera. And Dee, what did you think? I loved it. Um, I love the fact that it was a different, even though he had his dancers in there, they had, they had actual costumes, like had some detail to it with the beads and everything. And I like that it had like that Michael Jackson kind of feel to it. Yeah. I don't know why, even though it had like, you know, the African beat and stuff, all that. 
which is beautiful. That's what it was. Right. Remember, the time. It's remember the time. Remember the time. So it had like mm -hmm. that that feel to it, which um, yeah. I appreciate because Chris always tried to bring Michael in his videos in some format. So I loved it. I love the song. I love the video. I love the song. I just like how the song just puts you in a calm, like it's a reset type of song, reset type of video. So I just love the whole thing. Hey, Tasha? Okay, you put me last, so they said all my stuff. <laughs> But yeah, the the first thing I noticed was like the maze. I love that maze where they were like all going in different directions, and just like the overall aesthetic of it, it is it, the video is beautiful to me. They all look so good, like their skin tones and like the editing of it. Everything was just I I loved the video. Taylor was killing it. I, I just I love the video and I don't know if anybody else like picked up on it I had posted it and people was like what like did John get like she was like having like a fantasy or something yeah yes okay was, okay so, like, I'm not tripping with the I'm not tripping <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not tripping. She was having a fantasy or whatever. She wasn't thinking about Chris. She was thinking about Taylor. Yes. <laughs> yes. And yeah. no, it's like nobody caught it. And then when he Ugh. came home, like, I got the food. She was like, Ugh. <laughs> I know. Oh, no, she didn't. <laughs> I was like, the nerve. She was looking for Taylor. <laughs> she sure was. But it was, it was, like you said, it was beautiful. But the song, I love the song so much. It, like they couldn't, they couldn't really mess it up. I think. And they then, um, and the the chemistry with Kristen and uh, Taylor was amazing. It was like, oh, this is oh, hot! Yeah. <laughs> like, wow, mm -hmm. it was it was hot. So yeah, that was that was great. And and um, and the visual was just the like you said the the maze the. The lighting changes, you know, lighting changes because mm -hmm. it's not all dark, which I hate when it's all dark. Yeah, it was, it was, it was very moody, but the song has a certain mood and it matched it. You know, I mean, it really matched it. And yeah, that little Michael Jackson reference to "Remember the Time." He does that spin and it breaks up. Yeah, that's the part reference to "Remember the Time." But mm -hmm. um, he always plays homage to to Michael. So, but it was beautiful. I, I love it. Yeah, that's a, that's a gorgeous. Way too short, like you said, Jessica. Like, but the song is short, so that's why I play yeah. it on repeat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah true. Yep. Um, a friend of mine asked me. She had a party and she asked for a playlist, and that was on. And she ended up playing that one first. She said, "Oh, everybody loved that song." I'm like, yeah, that's the that's the song. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. that is the song. That is the song. Um, but yeah, that's. It's, I'm glad it he realized cool. it too. Yes. Oh yeah, I think he couldn't get around it because I think it's pretty hard on TikTok. A useful tool, and you need to, you know, he needs to be using it. I'll do it for him if you give me temporary password. I'll do it for him. I'm trying he to do it himself. But um, yeah, somebody needs to do it. But yeah, that's that was a, it was a um, wonderful video, and it was a great week. And how we ended that tour beautifully. That was magical, mm -hmm. absolutely magical. I'm glad you got to be there, D. I wish I could have been there. You were all crying. <laughs> it, was, it was beautiful. It was beautiful, though. Uh, they had a whole moment. Yeah. But yeah, you know yeah. who we we can thank for that, right? Her husband, yeah. right? Yeah, her husband did yeah. the very most, thankfully. But I thought, I think he was like, so I'm trying to get her there. I'm like, look, just show up. Because Chris is not going to say no. Show up. Absolutely just not. Just get her there. Right. Just well, get I mean, her there. So she's from Arizona, so it wouldn't. It's like if she was still living in Arizona, that wouldn't be far to go from Arizona to Vegas. Right. Right. It's so. a hop, skip, and a jump. So, yeah, that's. I, I'm so glad they did that. So that was epic. Really, an epic ending to an epic tour. So that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. We will see you and talk to you next week. Have a great week, everybody. Good night. Nice. 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 Get, that, get that physical copy. Yes. yes. Pre order now. Pre order now. Thanks for joining us on this episode, and we hope you'll join us again at the Vanguard.